Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today we're gonna to be talking about Dataverse for Teams. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you how to create this environment, um, because it's not super straightforward, but it is fairly easy once you know how to do it. So if you come over here to the left side, you'll see Power Apps here. Now, the, note this is different than this kind of adding a tab. Very different. You have to come over here to the left side of the navigation menu and go to Power Apps. And if we go to Build, it's gonna say we don't have any apps. Let's add an app. So when you create an environment in Teams, it's actually tied to a specific team. So it's really important that you um, you have your team created before you do this. So it's gonna take a couple minutes, create the environment, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a sec. Okay, so if I go to my admin center now, you can see that I have a new team, and the environment is named after that team. One of the things that's a little funny is you have to add an app before you can actually get access to the Dataverse, the, you know, all your tables and your data sources. So I'm gonna come over here and go app. And now what you'll see is we see this see all button, right? There's a couple places you can get to this data, but I would recommend um, getting to it from this navigation. So we can see here, now we see tables and it, obviously we don't have any tables, so we need to create one. Let's Let's maybe create an account table. So this is gonna look super familiar to creating tables in um, big boy Dataverse, i.e. CDS. This is like mini Dataverse, Dataverse for teams. So you'll see you get the regular system created field, status, status, reason, created, all that kind of stuff. That's all here. We have relationships and views. We can add a column here, we can delete the table, there's settings. So you might be asking, okay, how do I get data in? Um, you hit this edit data button, and obviously we just have one column right now. So let's go maybe Microsoft, and you just type in the data like that. Um, there is a place here where you can add columns. If you hit add, let's say we wanted to add maybe a website. We could go to URL, and I wanna show you why I recommend adding tables, creating columns from this perspective instead of from the app perspective. So if we open our app and we go to add data, you can see here's our table we just added. Let's go ahead and add that to our, our app here. But we can actually create new tables from here. Let's say we're gonna create a contact table. So from here, you'll notice this looks familiar. Um, this is this is the same as the kind of edit data option we were just in. However, the only thing is you can't really access those system generated columns from there. And also you're limited on the types of columns you can create. So notice if I go to add column, so take note of the available fields here and the available fields in the other location. For example, you'll notice we have lookup. We only have the option to create a many to one relationship from here. If we navigate from this kind of build tab, right, we can actually create, we have more flexibility. We can create um, many to many, one to many, many to one. You'll also see a lot more um, data types um, that you can pick for your columns. So I'm not gonna go into the actual creating of the app. So it's very similar to the Dataverse uh, Canvas app creation. Dataverse for Teams app creation is similar, it's just a little bit broken down. But there's three things I wanna point out. Number one, and this killed me, is if you navigate off of this screen, it's not gonna save. You have to save, okay? So if I navigate to Calendar Teams really quick, it's not gonna save my app, you have to save. The second point is you'll notice a difference here. You see we have this Teams kind of connector, this data source here. It's very similar to what happens when you embed a Canvas app in a model app. So let's add a label and let's type in Teams. We're gonna be referencing this connection here, Teams dot. And so you'll see you can actually get a couple cool things um, sent to your app. We all know we can embed a regular Dataverse Canvas app into Teams, but the cool thing about building an app within Teams in Dataverse for Teams is we can actually get information from Teams. And what I mean by that is if you embed an app in Teams, it has no idea where it is. It doesn't know which channel you're in, it doesn't know what team you're in. This connection here gives you that information. So you can see is full screen, is side panel, theme, 
this channel, this meeting, this team, which is super, super cool. So the final thing I want to know is publishing your app. Okay. So it's a little confusing. So there's, you'll see you have published to teams and you have a drop down manage pins. So if I open this manage pins screen, basically what this is doing is allowing you to manage um, where your app is pinned within different channels and teams, right? What's confusing is you're always prompted with this screen whenever you publish an app. And I'll show you what that, what that looks like. At this point, I've published the app, I'm done. But since I don't have the app actually added to any tabs, I'm gonna go ahead and add. So I'm gonna select this Dataverse app channel. You'll see the app is now embedded. So again, the thing that confused me was, you know, when I would make a change and go to publish the app, it always prompted me with that kind of pin screen. So I thought maybe, oh, you can push updates to certain channels. No, no, that is not the case. So once we get to this screen, the app is published and everywhere it's pinned, it will be updated. By default, it's always gonna give you the option to add the app to different channels every time you publish the app. I wish it would not do that, but it does. So don't get confused. So let me know if you guys wanna see uh, some more details on Dataverse for Teams and how to create apps within Dataverse for Teams. I'd be happy to do that. And again, if we can help you with anything, uh, feel free to reach out to us at congruentx.com. Thanks.